everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today i hope you all are doing very well and today we will be discussing most important mcqs for 29th of november 2022 before we move ahead let me tell you that today i have not included any picture and uh, since i felt that some questions were missed in the past few days so that's why today number of questions have been increased so be attentive and let's cover the questions one by one okay let's start first question says which institution issued a working paper on decline of india's rankings on the global indices so the economic advisory council to the prime minister has recently issued a working paper the title of which was why india does poorly on global perception indices case study of three opinion based indices okay and uh, basically it talks about the decline of india's rankings on a number of global indices and uh, what are the problems with the methodology used in these opinion based indices okay and the paper has actually analyzed three indices first is freedom in the world index then v dem indices and the third is eiu democracy index okay now let's talk about the world press freedom index once so if we talk about the world press freedom index for the year 2022 in this india was ranked at 150th position and this index is released by rsf that is reporters sans frontiers right and which are the top 3 countries in this particular index so first was norway second was denmark and the third was sweden so we can say that this is an important index right and what is eiu this is economist intelligence unit right and if we talk about the eiu democracy index in this india was ranked at 46th position among 165 countries okay and uh, which are the top 3 countries in this index so first was norway second was new zealand and third was finland okay so basically this question talks about only the institution but we have discussed these two indices as well right so here correct answer would be economic advisory council to the prime minister now next question says which institution released the genetically modified food regulations so the fssai full form is the food safety and standards authority of india has released a new draft of genetically modified food regulations for public consultation okay and uh, basically it proposes the front of the pack labeling for the packaged food product that contains 1% or more of genetically modified ingredients okay also no person shall manufacture pack store sell market or distribute or import any food or the food ingredient that are produced from genetically modified organisms except with the prior approval of the food authority okay so these regulations are associated with fssai fine next is which organization manufactured the intermediate range ballistic missile agni 3 very easy question so recently india carried out a training launch of the nuclear capable intermediate range ballistic missile agni 3 from apj abdul kalam islands which lies in the state of odisha right and the two stage 
सॉलिड प्रोपेलेंट पावर्ड मिसाइल इज अंडर ऑपरेशनल परव्यू ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजिक फोर्सेज कमांड विच इज एक्चुअली द पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया न्यूक्लियर कमांड अथॉरिटी फाइन सो दिस मिसाइल हैज बिन डेवलप्ड बाय डी आर डी ओ दैट इज डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो अग्नि थ्री मिसाइल इज एसोसिएटेड विद डी आर डी ओ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेज विच बैंक लॉन्च द फर्स्ट टैप विच इज द कंट्रीज वेरी फर्स्ट स्टीकर बेस्ड डेबिट कार्ड सो आई डी एफ सी फर्स्ट बैंक हैज लॉन्च दिस फर्स्ट टैप विच इज एक्चुअली द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट स्टीकर बेस्ड डेबिट कार्ड इन एसोसिएशन विद एन पी सी आई दैट मीन्स नेशनल पेमेंट्स कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया राइट एंड द स्टीकर बेस्ड डेबिट कार्ड वॉज वन थर्ड द साइज ऑफ अ रेगुलर डेबिट कार्ड एंड इट कैन बी यूज बाई टैपिंग द स्टीकर ऑन अ नियर फील्ड कम्युनिकेशन इनेबल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ सेल टर्मिनल राइट ओनली थिंग रेलिवेंट इज विच बैंक हैज लॉन्च दिस फर्स्ट टैप सो आंसर विल बी आई डी एफ सी फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज बुद्धावनम विच इज अ बुद्धिस्ट हेरिटेज थीम पार्क इज लोकेटेड इन विच इंडियन स्टेट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड बुद्धिस्ट हेरिटेज थीम पार्क प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट वॉज इनोग्रेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना सो इट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय द तेलंगाना स्टेट टूरिज्म डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन एट नागार्जुन सागर एंड द कॉरपोरेशन इज ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोरिंग टू सेट अप द बुद्धिस्ट मोनिस्ट्रीज ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज एंड बुद्धिस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी नियर दिस नागार्जुन सागर ओके सो डोंट फॉरगेट दैट दिस थीम पार्क लाइज इन द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना नेक्स्ट इज विच कंट्री हैज डिस्कवर्ड अ न्यू ओरल ड्रग फॉर लोवरिंग द कोलेस्ट्रॉल सो द साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम यू एस ए हैव रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड अ न्यू ओरल ड्रग फॉर लोवरिंग द कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड द रिसर्च बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंट अ प्रीवियसली अनरिकोगनाइज स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर मैनेजिंग द कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड ऑल्सो इट मे इम्पैक्ट द कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट्स सो दिस ड्रग एक्चुअली लोवर्स द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इन एनिमल मॉडल्स बाय सेवेंटी परसेंट एंड दीज हाईली इफेक्टिव एजेंट्स हेल्प द बॉडी pull excess cholesterol from the blood okay so you can be asked that which country has recently discovered a new drug so as to lower the cholesterol answer would be usa next is which is the first state to create the role of director general of audit so don't forget that tamil nadu is the very first state in india to create the role of director general of audit in india and tamil nadu has appointed an officer from the indian audit and accounts service on deputation for this role okay so the responsibility of officer will be to strengthen and streamline the functioning of internal audit departments in the state okay so this is i must say a three star question okay next is which company is said to acquire the packaged water giant bisleri everyone knows bisleri so tata consumer product limited is set to acquire bisleri international for up to 7000 crore rupees and don't forget that bisleri is the largest packaged drinking company in india and tata group runs its consumer business under the tata consumer product limited which also sells the packaged mineral water under the brand named as himalayan right so which company would acquire the bisleri answer would be tcp Next is as per a recent UNICEF report which country has expelled 1800 migrant children to the country Haiti so Dominican Republic authorities have actually expelled at least 1800 unaccompanied Haitian migrant children this year to the country Haiti and this was highlighted in the recent UNICEF report and these two countries actually share a 390 kilometers border on the islands of Hispaniola and many children are sent back to Haiti through different border points where they have been received by the UNICEF partners right so you can also be asked that this news was discovered by which important organization answer would be UNICEF fine next is as per the draft prevention of cruelty to animals amendment bill 2022 what is the maximum punishment for killing an animal First of all this bill is prepared by the Ministry of Fisheries Animal Husbandry and Dairy and recently it has been released 
for the public comment okay so it has actually introduced 61 amendments in the law and also it has proposed the fines from 50000 rupees to 75000 rupees or cost of the animal whichever is more with imprisonment of 1 year to 3 years or both for the offense of gruesome cruelty okay and for killing an animal this draft bill proposes a maximum punishment of 5 years in jail okay so here correct answer would be 5 lakh rupees so for killing an animal the maximum punishment that could be given is 5 lakh rupees fine okay next question is which country launched the nuclear powered icebreaker yakutia so recently russia has launched this nuclear powered icebreaker yakutia at the baltic shipyard where in northwest russia fine and this ceremony was attended by the president of russia vladimir putin via the video conferencing and this yakutia belongs to a series of project 22,220 nuclear powered icebreakers that are being built for Russia's Rosatom State Atomic Energy Corporation and they are the largest and the most powerful in the world okay you can also be asked that what is Yakutia so answer would be it is a nuclear powered icebreaker and with which country it is related to answer would be Russia next is India Young Water Professional Program is organized with the partnership of which country so Young Water Professional Program is organized with the partnership of the country Australia and this program has been taken up under the National Hydrology Project which is actually the central scheme of Ministry of Jal Shakti and it is supported by Australian Water Partnership Western Sydney University with the Ministry of Jal Shakti and also Australian Water Partnership launched an application for the farmers and ordinary citizens the name of which is my well okay why for monitoring and visualization of the groundwater surface water rainfall uh, to check the water quality also to check the dam water levels and other type of parameters okay so india young water professional program is organized with the partnership of the country australia next is which city is the host of the UNESCO India Africa Hackathon? So Vice President of India Jagdeep Dhankar recently addressed the UNESCO India Africa Hackathon at the Greater Noida. And this hackathon involves the young entrepreneurs from India and the 22 African countries and it was organized by the innovation cell of the Ministry of Education, AICTE and UNESCO. Fine. So Greater Noida was the host for this event. Now you have to tell me recently who has been appointed as the new chairman of All India Council for Technical Education in 2022. Do let me know in the comments. Next is which institution released a report titled as Illegal Wildlife Trade and the Climate Change Joining the Dots. So United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, that is UNODC, released this particular report, which states that efforts to reduce illegal wildlife trade are not only a nature conservation issue, but also it is important part of both mitigating the climate change and ensuring a more stable and resilient future climate. Okay, so only thing here relevant is which institution has released this particular report? Answer would be UNODC. Full form is United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now we'll come to our revision section. Which three categories we are covering today? First of all, we'll see important sports related current affairs. Then we'll see few important banking related current affairs. And at last we'll cover some recent appointments. Okay. And again, I'd like to tell you that these are the revision questions from October 2022 okay and later on we'll come to November as well so let's start with the sports related current affairs Aliud Kipjoge who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so he is related to marathon and why he was in news because recently he broke his own record by 30 seconds at the Berlin marathon 
okay and from which country he belonged to he is from kenya dulip trophy which was held recently is associated with which sport so dulip trophy is related to cricket and it was in news because recently its final took place in the state of tamil nadu where west zone has defeated the southern zone right lever cup which was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so this cup is related to tennis not cricket which state has announced the 2% reservations in the government jobs for a sports person in the state so recently rajasthan state has decided to provide 2% reservation in the government jobs for all the sports person from the state pranav anand who was seen in the news is associated with which sport so he is a chess player and why he was in news because recently he became our 76th grandmaster and he belongs to bangalore okay you have to tell me who is the 75th grandmaster of india which sports person won the business lines iconic change maker of the year award in 2022 this is indian cricketer mithali raj which sports person of india recently became diamond league champion very easy question it is neeraj chopra subrato cup which was seen in the news is associated with which sport so this cup is related to football okay so here three questions are very very important dulip trophy is related to cricket then lever cup is associated with tennis and subrato cup is related to football okay next we'll be talking about important banking related current affairs which is the only authorized bank to issue electoral bonds in india so don't forget that state bank of india is the only authorized bank in india which can actually issue the electoral bonds okay which indian public sector bank has inaugurated its ethical hacking lab to safeguard the bank's information system this is union bank of india which is the first indian bank to get reserve bank of india approval for the rupee trade answer would be yuko bank which is the only bank in india to be chosen for best workplaces in asia 2022 by great place to work authority so this is the federal bank india post payment bank has partnered with with social media platform to promote the financial literacy so for promoting the financial literacy ippb has partnered with co which is the first bank in india to issue an electronic bank guarantee this is hdfc bank which bank has unveiled its bank on wheels service for the state of gujarat again answer is hdfc bank okay now at last we'll be talking about the recent appointments who has been appointed as the new attorney general for india so our new attorney general is r venkat ramani who has been appointed as the chief of defense staff in 2022 so answer would be lieutenant general anil chauhan retired okay next is who has been appointed as the director general of icmr means indian council of medical research this is mr rajiv behel climate activist vanisa nakate who was appointed as unicef goodwill ambassador is from which country first of all you have to remember that recently unicef has appointed vanisa nakate as its goodwill ambassador and she is from the country uganda okay who has been appointed as the managing director of the common service center spv this is mr sanjay kumar rakesh okay Volker Turk who was appointed as the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights is from which country so he is from the country Austria not Australia okay which indian economist has been appointed as the executive director for india at the international monetary fund so answer would be k subramanian fine so these are the few important and the recent appointments from the month of october 2022 for your exams you have to remember at least the current affairs from 2 to 3 months now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today 
With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.